Hi Gemini, this is your reading with me for the 13th to the 19th of September. We're going to see what's coming through for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. So I have got the cards ready to go. Um, message cards and also some oracle cards. Sorry, not oracle cards, tarot cards. So yeah, we're going to have a look and I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Private paid readings are also down below as well. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me, um, personal readings, so I do offer those and like I mentioned all the links are there and also there's the link to my website which is actually where the readings are as well for intention manifesting items which thousands of people have seen results with so I definitely recommend to check it out since you can check out the review section at the bottom of the website, there's items such as beaded bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, intention pouches, um, and so many other items like crystals and sage as well. Um, everything is also meditated with and saged for different intentions that you have, and so many people have seen actual results in their life for different areas of their life as well with these items. So I highly recommend you check it out. Okay, so Gemini, let's see. Let's have a look and see what's coming through for you. Oh, oh, do you know what? The light is pouring through, the sun is shining. Today is a good day. And you know what? This week seems to be pretty good for you as well. I feel like a lot of you need to hear this, so what I'm about to basically say, um, which is that the Ace of Cups here shows that someone's going to like offer something to you in this particular week, and it's going to vary for all of you, but I just feel like someone could be offering you love, they could be offering you an opportunity, which could be like a golden opportunity um, that's really overflowing with a lot of abundance. Someone could be offering you, um, you know when someone's like pouring their heart out to you, they could be kind of doing that. Um, which is interesting because I feel like this is something actually that you want. So it could be that you have somebody around you, but you want them to open up to you and they do. So this week is very interesting with, of course, um, your Mars entering Virgo, which, you know, just goes to show that people can really, you know, everything that's sort of hidden within can come to the surface. And then you kind of can see how that makes you feel, what you want to do, especially with the nine of pentacles on that side. So I feel like a lot of you would be quite fascinated by that. I see a lot of communication with people around you. I also see people wanting to communicate with you, right? So if you've been applying for jobs, if you've been um, trying to get certain things in order, this is your week. Opportunities, fulfillment, strength and courage and you feeling like, yes, I got this. I got this. It's not out of my reach. It's not out of my grasp. It is here and I'm going to embrace it. That's the kind of vibe I see. Yeah, Queen of Cups, you know, you embracing yourself, embracing your energy. I just want to also get some of these Mercury cards out as well. Soon. I'm going to finish, finish off the spread, obviously, but I really wanted to see what these cards have. And, ooh, we saw it. Someone here is going to reach out to you soon. The, the key word here is soon. Soon. Double soons. Okay. So like I said, that there is this energy here of someone, you know, offering you this opportunity. For many of you, it can be contact, like we see here, but someone's going to reach out to you very soon. And this is something that you've honestly wanted for a while. If you've been applying for jobs, if you've been applying for scholarships or internships, or you have been wanting to go on a date with a specific person or get contact from a specific person, this week looks to be very, very progressive in that sense. And there is something unexpected in terms of communication that's going to come your way huge news right especially that ace of cups i saw it and i was like there's something coming your way um and i did mention as well there's going to be a lot of conversations for you this week which again is absolutely nailed down by these mercury cards so that's a big thing oh this card like falling off my deck there we go let's grab that again there you go okay so 
there's definitely contact here. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, this can also be quite romantic because the Six of Cups is known to be romantic, but it's also an opportunity for many of you. This is career related, um, but it also can be romantic in terms of like love. So the, the sun definitely goes to show that it's a great, great week full of happiness, fulfillment, celebration, joy, progression. Um, and this is again, something that you've really wanted. You've thought about for a long time. You've been pondering about it, contemplating it. Um, and really, really thinking of it. And here we go, you know, it's like coming together in a really, really wonderful, and again, a very progressive way, which again is really powerful and strong. Then we've got here the four as well, right? So there's an opening here, and again, a new chapter. So again, if it is a, um, what do you call it? If it is a, Word. If this is like a career, it's, it's a fresh new start, it's clean slate, this can be a new person coming towards you, this can be a new chapter, you know, because it can also be with the same kind of situation, but a new chapter. Um, so again, that's what we see here, and it just gives you such a refresh. King of Wands, Fire Energy, We have a card that's flipped over here. King of Pentacles, wow. Anything? Anything? Nothing? <laughs> Something. Yeah. You're pretty busy this week. You've got a lot going on. You're being pulled in lots of different directions. You're thinking about lots of different things to do, but you're also starting to um, fully, fully think, like, I want things to come together. I want things to progress. So that's the kind of vibe that I really do see here um, as well, which is obviously quite significant in many ways. Um, so that is what we have there. Well, isn't this interesting? Um, and also very, very fascinating. So I just feel like for many of you, um, I feel speechless in all honesty. You know, it's that kind of vibe where you have something and you're like not 100% sure of like what's going to happen and how it's going to happen. Well, I just feel that things are really progressing for you in the right direction. Things are coming together for you in the right direction. I think here as well, look, someone is clearly, clearly coming towards you with an opportunity, right, of um, offering you something, but also opening up in that regard. And I also feel here as well that that puts you in a great place of stability as well, where you actually regain quite a bit of power, because then you think to yourself, like, right, I've got something here, and I've been hoping for a while that it would be this way. So again, really strong, significant, powerful, potent energy which again is, is great to see. And it just goes to show that it's swaying in your favor. Knight to the King of Pentacles, especially. You know, this is a real, real week of opportunities. Keep your eyes peeled, continue to focus on yourself, do what you can, you know, and let people come to you because I feel like there's quite a few people here that want to communicate and reach out to you and contact you. For sure, you know, and they're going to be thinking of contacting you in this week as well. So again, there's there's a lot of power here and, um, you know, you don't have to like bid for it. You don't have to fight for it. All you have to do is do you and they will naturally come to you. Sometimes when you wait for things, you can end up waiting for it to happen. So I think that many of you need to hear this ASAP is if you've been searching for opportunities, if you've been applying for opportunities, if you've been trying to get someone's attention, this is the week where if you put power towards yourself and take care of yourself, they actually end up coming towards you. There's a really, really strong energy this week because I feel Mars is entering Virgo where anything that's like sort of trapped within is escaping the, you know, escaping the soul and like basically um, wanting to be hurt. So that's a very powerful, powerful energy. Indeed, Gemini, let me know what you think about this because there's double soons as well, right? And many of you have wanted this to happen soon. So, I mean... Here we go. Um, the thing here is that, look, things can get delayed if you're focusing so heavily on this situation. I always say when you get a tarot reading, detach from it, let it go to the universe, watch another one, let it go to the universe, continue to focus on yourself and do you. The more you wait for things, the more you can end up waiting. All right, so that's very, very important when you are watching readings like this as well. It's just go with flow, enjoy your life, enjoy the things you can do and the things you can control. The things you can't control, 
you know, let it go to the divine. So this is your reading. I really hope this helped you. Of course, if it resonates, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. Everything is linked down below. I also have TikTok and Instagram if you want to follow me on there for short readings. And take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye, everyone.